Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Kate's Face with me, Kate Face XO. So I'm back, um, you may have seen on social media um, that I was done well last week, so two weeks ago I was in hospital, everything's all good now and I'm back to my normal self, so I thought I'd get back on with the videos and the blog. Um, so just going to jump straight in, I'm going to do a video today that's been quite requested via Instagram. If you don't already follow me, you can find my personal page at Kate Face XO or my kind of blogger page and that's Kate's Face by Kate Face XO. I'll put everything down below in the links um, and obviously the blog is also katefacexo.wordpress.com um, I always pop up a little blog post alongside the videos just to kind of go into more detail what I've discussed in the videos, link all products and kind of mention everything for you. Also kind of post on Instagram kind of random videos. The whole reason I started doing this, um, aside from a love of makeup, is kind of during lockdown I've sent funny videos to my friends like just kind of taking the mick out of myself but applying makeup and some of them are quite funny according to my best friends um, so I've put a couple of snippets of them up just on Instagram TV just, just for something different and something that's not going to be a super long video so anyway this video as I said has been requested on Instagram and it is a brow tutorial so once again I have not had any professional training and I don't have any professional qualifications everything that I do in my videos and on my blog and any things I do to my face or anything I recommend it's all just from my own personal experience I have picked up things just try makeup and playing around with it. I've also watched YouTube videos, I've read blogs, I've spent hours and hours and hours and hours on Pinterest. So um, yeah, nothing comes with like a personal caveat or professional caveat I should say. It's just basically what has worked for me and what I enjoy. So without further ado, we are going to jump into the brow video. Okay, so brows are super important to me. They are something that I really like to spend some time on. I find that they are so important to the face. You will notice right now I do have my base on and I've also got mascara on with no brows. And I feel like it really does affect the look. When I have brows on it just makes everything look a little bit more clean. It really focuses on my eyes more. I really like to accentuate my eyes where possible. So I do find that not having the brows done properly can affect that. So normally I get my brows either threaded or waxed. I would say 99.9% .9 of the time they get threaded. However, if I can't maybe get booked in with my girl who I get threaded with, I will get them waxed at the place where I get my waxing done, which is Peaches in Glasgow. I'll link all that down below for you. Um, so yeah, I usually get them threaded and tinted. And usually that's maybe every two to three weeks, just depending on how they're looking. I really like that because it just keeps them in really, really great shape. And I am very, very dark in the hair. My eyebrows are quite dark at the moment. However, I do find that tint just really helps accentuate them that little bit more. So I haven't had my eyebrows <laughs> waxed, tinted or threaded since March. So they're not looking their best at the moment. I did pluck them the other day. I don't usually touch my eyebrows because I really trust the girls that, that do my eyebrows. So I tend to just leave them and, and let the girls do their thing but I did kind of pluck um, the kind of strays just to kind of tidy them up a little bit because I don't want them falling out of shape too much and also when I kind of um, cut out my eyebrows with my concealer the hairs were becoming really noticeable so I, I cut, I, no I didn't cut them, I tidied them up a little bit with the tweezers the other day um, and it has cleaned them up a bit so I'm just going to go, kind of go in with my brow routine and use what I use on my brows at the moment as I said, I normally get them tinted as well as threaded. However, I do still usually put some sort of brow gel, whether that's a coloured one, depending on if my brows are maybe needing tinted again, or a clear one. Sometimes I just brush them. It just really depends on how they're looking. Um, kind of have to be flexible with your brows, I think. But there are so many different brow products on the market. So I do have a couple here to show you. So probably one of the most notable brow products is the kind of brow pencil so this is an Avon one so this has got a spoolie on one end and it's got the brow pencil on the other this is quite a dark colour it's like almost black actually if you look at it there so brow pencils are really good um, I used to use them all the time when I was younger however as I have developed my tastes and as I've developed different kind of techniques I find that the brow pencil can be kind of harsh Obviously you can blend it out, you can kind of do what you want to do with it and feather it out, but I do just find that the brow pencil can be a bit harsh and that's not obviously just this brand of pencil, that's all pencils. So um, I always keep this because it's, I don't like to throw things away um, unless I'm A, not using them or B, they're out of date. So there's no reason for me to throw this away because I do still use it on occasion. Um, so that is a brow pencil. 
there are also brown mascaras and there's quite a few different um, kind of brown mascaras and brow gels. Um, these are just a couple of the ones that I have at the moment. So one of the best ones is Benefit Gimme Brow. So what's really good about this is it actually is a brow volumising fibre gel and it's a really, really tiny spoolie. And I really like it because you can be really detailed and you can really get kind of at that outer corner of the brow. But it doesn't leave loads of product and you can kind of blend it out. Um, so I like to use that. I also have a Rimmel Brow This Week Clear Brow Gel. So again, if I'm at that stage where my brows are, you know, they're looking good colour wise and they just need kind of sealed. I'll just use that. It's a bigger spoolie. And there's also this Revolution um, Brow Gel. I've not used it too much because I bought the colour, it's a bit too dark for me. So again, a nice small spoolie. Um, it's not that I won't use it, I will use it, it's just a little bit too dark for me at the moment. And this is one of my favourite brow mascaras. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and this is in the colour Espresso. Yes, Espresso. So I think this is wonderful. Love, love, love it. When I first came into, like, you know, when lockdown first started, I found this was really good for getting a really good colour onto my brows. It was basically matching my colour and I was just basically applying it onto my brows. And then I was using a brush, specifically this one here, just to kind of carve out my brows and kind of spread the product along. Um, and finally, the product which I will be using today is a brow pomade. So this is also from NYX. This is the Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. Really, really good. Again, it's very similar to the pro the kind of process that I was using for that brow mascara and that is very kind of flexible you can just pop it on your brows and then kind of spread it and blend it and kind of carve out your brows to however you want um, and this is a really good colour match for me this is in the colour brunette this is a very good colour match for me they didn't have espresso when I was in the shop so I think this was the next best shade otherwise I probably would have gone for espresso which is the same colour as the brow mascara that I use okay so to go in and do our brows I'm just going to take a little kind of mascara wand spoolie I'm pretty sure I got this some point when I had eyelash extensions but it's going to do for my brows today so I like to just brush them up wake all these little fellas up make sure they're all ready and then do the other eye and then what I kind of do just at the tails I just kind of smooth them down from the top oh so that they're not all over my face So brush my brows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my brow pomade. So really, I am a really, really big fan of Real Techniques brushes for everything. They have a really, really good eye set. I think it's mainly for eyebrows, but it comes with like three different types of tweezers, like slanted tweezers, angled teasers and detailing teasers. Tweezers? Tweezers. And also they have these three brushes in the pack. So we've got a mini spoolie, a kind of brush and then like a sponge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sponge one first. It's kind of like the makeup applicators you get in like little two packs of eyeshadows. These tiny, tiny brushes that are that size and they're no use to nobody. That's what it's like. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take some product. So I'm just basically gathering the product up, just kind of sweeping it onto the sponge. Basically trying to get as much product as I can without too much and kind of warming the product up. And then I'm just going to apply that straight onto the brow. You can already see a difference in terms of the colour difference there. Um, just from putting that on, it helps kind of define the eyebrow. So I'm just going to kind of put, I don't want to put it all the way to the end because it does dry kind of quickly. We want to be able to manipulate it as it were. So I've just kind of blobbed the colour on, shall we say, with that applicator. Now I'm going to take this little brush that I was telling you about I like to apply the brow mascara with. And I'm just going to kind of gently shape the pomade that we've put on, just kind of trying to create a nice line here and kind of guide the colour on the brows just through the shape of the brows Perfect, so it's not done, but you can definitely see a difference, especially between this eye and this eye already. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that pomade and we're going to pop that onto the brow, just to enhance that colour. And again, just going in with that little brush just to shape and blend. And that's kind of basically it. I mean... If I was going for like a full face of makeup, full glam, three pairs of eyelashes, glitter, cut crease, everything, I would probably go in with at least another coat of the pomade just to kind of really define the brow because we don't want the brow being lost in amongst that kind of heavy eye makeup. But in terms of just like a kind of everyday makeup, a chance to kind of let my brows kind of stand out, this is kind of ideal for me. Um, obviously, your own personal preference, you can go as dark as you like or as light as you like. What I'm going to do on this eye is I'm going to show you the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara that I was telling you about first, just to kind of show the diversity of the two products um, and just show you how easy it is to use this, because I found this to be a really great product. So I'm just taking, there's quite a bit of product there and now on my hand, on the top of the spoolie. That was great, Catherine, well done. So just pop that onto the brow. Now this is a lot more flexible in terms of the product than the pomade because it is a liquid. Well, it's a gel. Um, so a little bit more does go a long way. So again, just kind of putting it along halfway along the brow. And once again, going in with this brush to shape the brows. So this is a much... I mean, I have to admit, I do prefer this brow mascara, but my local superdrug didn't have it, which is why I got the pomade. But next time I am at an N, N? Uh, NYX counter and they have this brow mascara, I will definitely be buying more. I don't actually remember when I bought this. I might have bought it in the States at some point, um, you know, like to try it and see what it was like. I don't actually remember buying it, which really just kind of sums up the majority of the makeup that I own. So I'm just going to add a little bit more onto this brow. And you want to be really careful that you don't put too much new product over dried products so like so for instance i've done two coats there so the first coat was starting to dry which is going to create like when i put the new coat on it's going to create a separation here of like dry product and new product so you want to make sure that when you're popping that on you blend it out as quickly as possible you don't want to let it dry because then it's gonna look like that easily fixed though i'm going to take the little spoolie brush here i'm just going to Brush him out. He's a bit more cooperative now. So, completely up to yourself the way you do your brows. What you can then do is go in with some concealer. I am using NARS. This is just a little tester that I got last time I was in Sephora. This is Nougatine um, Light 2.2. So, you can just take a little bit of concealer. And carve out your brows. Lots of people do this, lots of people like to do it. I generally don't do it too much um, unless I'm really creating like a really dramatic eye look. Um, yeah, lots of people do it for lots of different reasons. Um, it can really create a nice clean line around your eyebrows. I don't really notice a difference if I don't do it. I mean, hmm, it does look a bit better actually, you have to admit. Um, it does create that nice clean line around your brows, both kind of upper and lower. And then this side. And again, it's up to yourself if you want to finish off with a brow gel. Um, you know, like to kind of set it. With the brow pomade, it does take a little bit longer to dry. So I do find that it can run if you don't let it dry. Um... But with the brow mascara that I used on this eye, it dries really quickly. So I don't tend to use a brow mascara when I do that or a brow gel because it's kind of got it covered. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put some of the Rimmel Clear Brow Gel 
onto this eye here that we put the pomade on just to kind of lock it all in place basically it's just like mascara for your brows just kind of keep everything where we want it to be so if I was to be 100% honest with you gun to my head I much prefer don't much prefer but out of the two of them I prefer the NYX tinted brow mascara in espresso but at the moment I am using the tame and frame pomade all the time simply because this is running out that's exactly why I'm not using it as much at the moment and um, it does take quite not quite a lot but I do like to use quite a bit of it on my eyebrows and it was just running out and obviously if my local superdrug isn't selling it then it's going to be harder for me to get it so maybe next time I buy them I'll buy two so yeah so really it's up to you the way you want to do your brows and how you like them to look this is kind of how i like my brows to look once again if i'm going for a heavier makeup i'll maybe do them a bit more dramatic if my brows already are are, are already tinted i will not do this much to them because then they would be really dark and it would look kind of silly um so yeah i'll pop a picture on the instagram of how my brows normally look when they have been tinted and threaded so you can see what they would normally look like and how they would normally be sitting um but yeah this is i found this to be a really good alternative i personally feel like i have my together when i have my eyebrows done and when i have a bit of mascara on and my base is looking good and um, generally that includes using some foundation or concealer but if i'm having a moment like just now where my skin's actually really good i don't feel the need to but for this video i popped a a nice little base on for everyone so that's everything that i have for this video for you really really hope you enjoy it i hope you learn something from it if you've got any more requests for me please do just let me know you can let me know on instagram as i've said or also by commenting on the video we also have a facebook page which is just kate's face again everything will be linked down below including all the products that i showed you um yeah so i hope you're all surviving lockdown we're all able to go out to the beer gardens again today and in true scottish fashion the weather's going to be rubbish after tonight. So yeah, I hope you're having a great day and a great week and I'll see you soon. Thank you.